Welcome back, everybody. My good friend Bob Beckel right over here has been giving me a hard time about food stamps, saying it's not really much fraud. Well, get this, Big Bob. Food stamp recipients are ripping off taxpayers to the tune of millions of dollars, illegally sell selling their benefit cards for cash on eBay or Craigslist and asking for more cards. It costs us about 750 million bucks a year, and that ain't chump change, Mr. B. What, what costs you 750 million? $750 million worth of estimated fraud in food estimated stamps. Estimated fraud. And how much is the food stamp budget? Uh, $75 billion. $75 billion. So that's, I've been trying to ask upstairs to give me the well, answer. Well, I'll, I'll give you the number. It's, it's one-tenth of one percent. Oh, it's one percent of the $75 billion. Okay, one, for one percent. <coughs> Big deal. Big deal. <laughs> $750 million. Bucks. That's, that's, the, Big that's deal. the beauty, though, Errol. That's the beauty. You can say big deal because it's not your money. It's easier to trash a public bathroom than it is to trash a private You're bathroom. Fraud is less a priority when it's not your You're money. You're trashing 99 percent of the people for the one percent of the people who do it's fraud. Go out I yeah, admit that there's fraud. You said there's it was fraud no big in deal. The there's fraud in the police department. What about the healthcare system? You're always talking about uh, fraud, fraud in the healthcare system. There. But it's you're taking one percent of the yeah. people, and you're you're painting them with a brush of fraud, which is just First outrageous. No, I'm responding to you saying it's no big deal. Can, can we put it's something else on too, Bob? Yeah. This is one program that they found 750 million bucks in hand. I'm, I'm guessing yeah. there's a lot more fraud than this. If you really kind of dig deep in, 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 in the right. right. same right. people have you ever seen it? I, I told you during the commercial break. I just saw it. I was at the supermarket, and I saw a woman, and she had an EBT card. And I just happened to look over, and she showed it to the woman. It was a picture of a man with a mustache. <laughs> now, could have been her boyfriend, Bob. I'm sure it was all legit. Or before but she went to the spa. I'm, there's a I'm, huge I'm sure all those purchase stores for Iraq were, uh, were, a, were fraudulent, were, were, were somebody's girlfriend. Why don't we ever stay on a topic? Why do I have to like, bring up something else? Because you're gonna, talking about uh, programs. There's a huge, also, drug and sex exchange for food stamps. It's the downside to these programs, too. And the same people that have been asleep at the switch letting the fraud happen, they're going to be the ones policing it? Wait, 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 wait. This is very important because this $750 million in fraud that they found was only for people claiming to have lost cards and wanting replacement cards, what? not for using what, what it for a lobster sex? or sex. What are you talking about? What, what's sex in? There's a drug and sex exchange for Good food stamps, yeah. for these EBT cards. And your point about the card, you don't need an ID to use the card. You can use anybody's card. And if you lose your card, you have to, government has to give you well, a new card. It's not like a driver's license where they say, you know, two of two, or they actually, you can see that there's other ones out there. You go back in, they have to give you a new for you, card. For you it's 99, unbe unbelievably for unregulated. You 99 percent of the people out there that have maybe on food stamps and feed your children with them because you have to, uh, don't get yourself caught up in this. If they had New York jobs, City paid jo paid job, the contract if they had jobs, they wouldn't need food stamps. It is pretty ingenuous, in ingenious though, to to think of like how to like and really kind of sexy to go on Craigslist and use your EBT card. That seems sort of brazen. Smart. Yeah, it's kind of smart. Like, what if you put that ingenuity towards something else? Seven hundred fifty million dollars. Do you realize how many solar panels I could buy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you just you just changed the subject uh, again. So well, you're cute. You're changing the subject. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how many uh, of, of those lousy airplanes that they built in the military that cost a billion dollars. Right. Yeah. Which I agree with you. There's a there is a lot of overspending in government. A lot more. A lot. No, I will say there's. An, I will say entitlements are probably worse. Well, let me ask you this, Greg. Uh, when President Obama took over the, the year, the last year prior, uh, we spent 42 billion dollars on food stamps. Now we're spending this next year is going to be 82 billion dollars, almost doubling the program in four years. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, I mean, the amount of people, a lot of people out of work. Well, they, ex he just gave me, gave me answers. There's a lot of people out of work. So whose fault is that? I love when Bob comes full circle back to my point. Oh, by the way, you know, you know he's facing re-election, so you know, you gotta keep giving the stuff out. Yeah, let's uh, give the stuff out. Is food stamps? Food stamps been around a long time. Food stamps were introduced by a Republican president, I might add, Richard Nixon, and they are a good thing. Thank you. And they save people who are hungry. And they don't go out and buy. We it. are. I'm trying, trying to, to start people, people to here. death, Bob. That's yes. why I'm here. Right. If we were, if we were to be honest <laughs> about this, we would not try to paint everybody. We're not. We're not talking about a, 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 a 750 million dollars. Tiny percentage of people. I know, but 750 million dollars could. That is money that should not be wasted. I thought Mitch Daniels, when I had that one more thing the other day, where he said, 
Um, I do not think it's right to take a hard-earned dollar from any citizen to spend it on something that is not for a specific purpose or that will go to a fraudulent enterprise. Okay, uh, so USDA I, maybe has a responsibility okay, they, here they to figure it out. They do have a responsibility there just like the Defense Department does for all the fraud that they have. It was supposed to be a safety net, not a lifestyle choice. There you go. Good, good way to end that. Yeah, yeah. Coming up, pressure is